and welcome to my channel. My name is Miranda and I'm Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan. And I'm here with my 20 before 20. Um, it's a concept that I have seen on um, Instagram and I decided to try it out for myself because I too have a list of things that I want to get done prior to 2020. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you show your girl some love by giving me the thumbs up. Um, comment below. Have you thought about doing a 20 before 20 or do you want to do, there's another one that's 20 in 20. So 20 things you want to accomplish in the year 2020. And uh, last but not least, if you have not had the opportunity to subscribe to the channel, I would absolutely love to have you as one of my subscribers. So all you need to do is hit the subscribe button below this video, along with that notification bell and boom, boom, bam. Just like that, you will be a part of the team. So I snatched this idea from a planner babe. She's actually from Antwerp, Belgium. And she kind of did this setup with a box in the middle of the page. And her name is Little Fox. Let's see what her name is. Her name is Little Fox Journal. So she did this in her bullet journal. And the part that I'm snatching is just this little box. The rest of it is my interpretation and the color scheme kind of goes along with my actual um my actual plan with me for the week so it's going to have the reds and the light blues and kind of that uh, teal green kind of color um is is going to be on my planner and this is going to go in there and i have already started my list so what i did was i just measured this box i i traced it out with my paper mate layer and um and a mechanical pencil and i'm gonna kind of go in and i'm gonna do the same thing here but i'm gonna do my lettering first because guys i'm not that good at lettering but you know i don't know if you had the opportunity to watch any of my um bullet journal spreads where i was practicing lettering so i know a little a little something something about lettering And it's all about the downstroke in lettering. All about the downstroke. And you just kind of darken it. So this is like folligraphy because it's not real calligraphy. And I'm just going in and I'm darkening my downstrokes. So that's going to be the first part of it. So what are some goals that you would like to see yourself accomplish before the end of the year. They can be personal goals. They can be career goals. They can be goal goals. It doesn't matter. It's just as long as it's a goal. So, um, and I really hope this turns out great because if it doesn't, I'll be a little disappointed, but then I won't because like I'm not super at doing calligraphy so just doing what i know how to do which is darken that downstroke all right so and the o is going to be right here and once this dries i'll go back and erase those um I'll go back and erase the pencil. All right, so then we're gonna just trace over this. So once I get this title done, I will be so happy because it's kind of just a little bit nerve wracking, but not that nerve wracking that I don't wanna do it nerve wracking. So my end there is kind of jacked up. So I'm going to fix it. And I think someone asked me about this eraser in one of my um, previous videos. And I don't know why I can't make an end today. And this is just, um, it came in a packet of two erasers. And I got it from Hobby Lobby in the stationery section. Or in the, like the drawing tool section back there. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to go through. 
I'm gonna let it dry a little bit because I don't wanna smear anything. But just in case, I do have my white Uniball Signal Gel pen here. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, I've also gone through and I pulled the stickers. And of course, they're all from Colorful Boxes. Um, the Rainbow Colorful Boxes book. So I'm just gonna go on each side and I'm just gonna randomly put these, um, I'm gonna randomly put these stickers down. All right, so now I have my list and I'm just gonna start writing um, some things down. So we have um, pantry organization, which I've already did this weekend. Okay, and then I want to clean out my, clean my seasoning cabinet. Y'all, I love my, I love to cook with seasonings and I have so many seasonings, but they need to be neatly arranged. Purchase new silverware. I don't know about you guys, but silverware does not last at my house. I think we have one fork. I just don't know where it goes. I want to clean under my bathroom sink. You know, there's always stuff under there um, that just ends up there. And I just don't know how. All right. I put sick instead of sink. And I'm totally not sick, so I don't know where that's even coming from. Oh, boy. Nor was I even speaking to somebody that was sick. I don't understand. All right. Let's try this again. Sink. Clean under my bathroom sink. Clean under my kitchen sink, which is already done. And I will put, I did it again. I will put pictures of um, how my pantry looked. We actually took the pots and pans out of the cabinets and put it in a pantry because my pantry's not that big. So, and then we took the food out of the pantry and put it in the, um, underneath the, in the cabinets. Um, I wanted to purchase some more Dollar Tree, um, containers just for storage for like, you know, um, seasoning envelopes and things like that. And that's all going, um, uh, with my organization. Okay. In my bathroom, I need to purchase, you know, one of those cabinets um, that goes over your toilet, the back of your toilet. I need one of those purchase over toilet and I need it for storage. Because um, my master is downstairs and I have like um, upstairs, I have two linen closets, but that doesn't help me. There's no linen closet downstairs. Um, I need to decide on my planner lineup. I need to commit. And it's so crazy that I don't know, cause I typically know. Um, I want to set up my budget planner. But now that the new budget planner has come out, yeah, about that. Um, I need to get the oil changed in my car, which is already done. I got that done today. I've been thinking through this list. All right. So that's my first 10. Um, <laughs> I want to um, get ahead um, in my YouTube video recording. So 
hopefully I have some days off I can get it done um I need to upload new stickers y'all that looks so that right in just I gotta fix that um for those of you who were looking for the Weight Watcher stickers, I don't understand what happened the other day. I loaded them up and listed them, but I forgot to take the shop off of vacation. So you couldn't see them even though they were there. So, and I'm gonna put load new stickers and I'm gonna have, um, I'm going to have script stickers and I'm going to have print pression weeks kits and Erin Condren kits. But really with Erin Condren will be more monthly. I think I want to mess with the print pression weeks kits because as you guys know, I'm loving my PP weeks. Um, I would like to pick out all my stickers for the month of January in my planners. The whole entire month. Uh, I want to organize my closet. It needs it too. Since I took on this uh, position a year ago, I've kept my winter clothes and summer clothes kind of together because when I have to go to Florida and Nicaragua, it's hot. And of course, here in North Carolina, it's typically winter. It is winter, and and I just didn't want to have to worry about not having clothes. So, um, I need to rearrange my sticker storage in my office. So it's going to be rearrange my stickers. Um, Rearrange my pens. I need one of those pen palace palaces. Because what I have right now is not working. Um, I want to get my car detailed. I mean, Mr. Um, Master Plan, he washes it and vacuums it out, but I want to get it detailed. Um, do I have, cause I have 20 things here and it's 10. Okay, I must have. Okay, so I need to get quotes for painting my downstairs. In the house. Okay. Um, set up budget planner, planner lineup. Purchase. I, I'm reading over everything. Did I put that I needed to order my new pots? Order new pots that's what was missing and last but not least i got the quoting okay so i need to do a um, design boards um for my bedroom so mb for master bedroom and my office and i will share that with you guys i just want to give it a little facelift nothing really that serious or major but it needs to be done. And I'm looking here, I wanna fill in kind of this area over here because we're a little bit crowded down in this corner. But I noticed there's some more room, more over here. Even if that's touching, I'm okay. I'm about to move some of these because it doesn't have to be a certain way or All right, so that is my 20 before 20 and I think it's cute. It's gonna look good in my planner this week in the middle of my spread. 
Um, one more thing I want to add that she added and I really liked, it's really cute. She took a little bit of washi and she just tore it and kind of put it on the corners. And I may have to get a little bit more. Um, let's see, let me see if I could tear it off a little bit more because that's kind of touching there and I don't want it to touch. All right, come on. Very good. Yeah. Perfect, we put one there. And then we're gonna put a little piece of washi down here in the bottom corner, down here. And we're gonna move you over because I don't want you to touch this. All right. And that just brings a little bit more of the pops of red and it's not too overwhelming. So that is my version of 20 before 2020. If you enjoyed it, if you liked it, make sure you give me the thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, Bella. Thank you.